Could the coronavirus be weakening, as it spreads? On May 31, the news agency Reuters, published an article with an optimistic but incendiary headline, New Coronavirus Losing Potency, Top Italian Doctor, says. The story included comments from hospital leaders, in Milan and Genoa, cities in two regions of northern Italy that have been hit hard by COVID-19. The doctor's comments were pulled from published news reports in the Italian media, and both suggested that the virus is growing weaker. The strength the virus, had two months ago is not the same strength, it has today. What is happening in hospitals, at least in the northern part, of Italy, the clinical impression, is that the disease is now different compared to the disease of three months ago. The majority of patients who presented in emergency rooms or wards during March and April were very sick with acute respiratory distress syndrome, shock, multiple organ failure, and the majority died in the first days after admission. Now in May, we no longer see these types of patients. Is this because the virus lost some viral potency? Or because the viral load or total count of the virus is lower? We don't know. Expert speculation that the virus could be weakening is unpopular and may be also dangerous. Health officials within Italy and at the World Health Organization refuted the Italian doctor's comments and a panel of UK-based experts said that any claims that the virus is weakening are dubious and not supported by evidence. Yes, the golden rule is that viruses tend to mutate and evolve over time to become less pathogenic while we become more resistant, but that doesn't happen over a matter of a few months, it's more like a matter of years. It's also worth noting that the push to loosen business and quarantine restrictions, in Italy is politicized, as it is in the US. Some government officials there have accused their colleagues in the north of manipulating patient data and testing protocols in order to expedite the reopening process in their regions. But some say the Italian doctors' claims are plausible, if not proven. Every time a virus passes from one person to another, it goes through mutations. Over time these mutations can accumulate and the virulence of the virus can ultimately lessen. It's possible that these mitigating mutations are occurring in Italy, and maybe even in parts of the US it's the nature of these viruses to get tired after a while. How some viruses evolve. While plenty of viruses kill, high lethality is not a trait that the most successful viruses possess, at least not in the long term. And no one doubts that COVID-19 could, theoretically, become weaker as time passes. This is definitely something that can happen, over time there can be a general selection, for decreased virulence. How does that occur? In oversimplified terms, some different mutations, or, strains, of COVID-19, scientists around the world have already identified roughly 10,000 of them could be milder than others. And if this mildness helps them spread more rapidly, for example, by helping them elude detection, then that could lead to a softening of the virus over time. But plenty of scientists are on the lookout for these types of changes, in large populations, and in small communities, and so far they don't see evidence that a mild strain or strains are taking hold and displacing more severe ones. That doesn't mean patient outcomes are not improving in some places. An Italian study found that the virus's lethality in April had significantly decreased compared to its lethality in March. But that study's authors cite improved clinical management as the likeliest cause of the decrease. This makes sense. As doctors and healthcare systems gain experience treating the virus, they're likely to get better at it. Along with changes in hospital capacity, triage, and treatment methods, as testing efforts get amplified, more mild and asymptomatic cases will be detected. Other experts echo his sentiments and say that COVID-19 is unlikely to weaken in the near term. Coronaviruses, compared to other viruses such as influenza, are genetically very stable, which means they're less likely to mutate in ways that could lessen the severity of the resulting illness. In some ways, this stability is a good thing, it means that if and when a COVID-19 vaccine is available, we won't have to worry about the virus changing in ways that render the vaccine ineffective. The virus has changed with small mutations since it emerged from Wuhan, however, the sum total of those mutations has not changed the pathogenesis, or severity of the disease it causes in humans, or its ability to spread among us.
it's highly unlikely that this virus is going to help us out by evolving into a less pathogenic version. An uncertain outlook, if people underestimate COVID-19 or ignore their state's public health guidelines, a second wave is still the likeliest scenario. That's the risk we're taking right now if we loosen our public health response. We hope it doesn't take a new peak in infections to get people to adhere to some of the simple things that they can do to prevent new infections and potential suffering. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.